love the look of a charcuterie board. It's just so beautiful when you bring it out to a crowd. And one day I got to thinking, why couldn't you just build a salad board that way? Plus, I kind of love that everybody gets to build it themselves so they can pick exactly as much or as little of whatever it is that they like. Welcome back to Heather in her kitchen. I am gonna show you how to prepare an unbelievably beautiful Asian salad tray. This salad board is gonna be full of beautiful vegetables, delicious noodles and lettuce. We are also adding the most amazing ginger fried tofu, which is part of this three-part series on how I made this beautiful Asian salad spread. And we're topping it off with the most amazing Thai peanut dressing. We've got cashews turning into beautiful candied cashews over there on the stove. The water is boiling for our vermicelli noodles. Instead of it being a salad, the minute that you put noodles on it, it feels more meal-like. Not to mention that in the group of people I have coming over, there are four children. And there's just something about serving a salad to children that isn't gonna work. I've already got some lettuce washed and it's just rolled up in a towel to dry as I carry on with the veggies. This salad board is all about presentation, which means we're gonna make the veggies special. We have the snap peas that I've already cracked off the little ends and taken out the little runner bit. For carrots, I use them in the peeler. I've just made this beautiful stack that's gonna look even more stunning when we build our tray. Next up, I'm gonna treat our zucchini in the exact same way that I treated the carrots. So we're just going to go along with our potato peeler and make nice long strips. Give it a turn every couple of strips so that you don't want to end up with really fat ones. You want them to be, you know, similarly wet. Makes it extra fun to eat, especially for the kids. They just love the little cucumber <laughs> stripes. We're not gonna go down to where the seeds are. This is gonna get too watery. We've got a nice little stack. So those cashews are coming along so nicely. It smells amazing. Our water has come to the boil, so let's toss in our vermicelli. I have quite the crowd, so I'm gonna do the whole container. Now that the noodles are in the pot, they're only gonna need a couple of minutes. I've got a little ice bath here, so I can stop the cooking as soon as I take them off the heat. And look at our beautiful nuts. It's just gonna happen really quickly with those noodles. So I'm gonna move on to the avocados as soon as they come off the heat. Okay, these guys look great. I'm just going to strain them and then we'll drop them in the ice bath. And into the ice bath they go, where they can just hang out and stop cooking and they are going to be an amazing layer to the salad. By the way, if you haven't been here before, my name is Heather. And this is Heather in Her Kitchen, where I create beautiful, scratch-made, vegetarian and plant-based meals. If you want to dive into vegetarian cooking, discover exciting recipes, learn new techniques, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Noodles, check, done. Beautiful cashews, check, done. Let's move on to the avocado. As always, we have our fingers crossed that there is beautiful on the inside. Yes! I'm just gonna cut these avocados into quarters, scatter them about the platter as I build it. And that way, when the guests are building their own salad, they can just pick up an entire avocado and they'll be able to take out all of the goodness on the inside and put it directly on the salad themselves. We have all of our beautiful veggies prepared. I have the carrots that have been put through with the potato peeler. I have red and yellow peppers that I've just sliced into thin strips. I have snap peas. I have cucumbers that I also did with the potato peeler. And I have my beautiful quartered avocado. I am gonna build the salad board right on my cutting board. It's a nice big surface and it's gonna give me lots of room to make this look amazing. As always, I'm going to have all the recipes detailed in the description box below and links to all the ingredients. So if you're inspired to make this recipe, head on down there, click on the links and you'll be able to simply add to cart and it'll be on its way to you. To start building the salad board, we're gonna start with some key items in these larger bowls to sort of anchor the arrangement and then we're gonna fill in with all these beautiful vegetables. The first ingredient we need is the gorgeous Thai peanut dressing that I made to go with it. It's one part of this three-part series of videos and I'm just gonna go grab it, it's been sitting in the fridge. Here it is, Ugh, and it is just so beautiful. I have been waiting all day to eat this. It smells amazing. So the first thing we're gonna do is pour that into a, you know, bowl that sort of holds about a cup. Next up, I'm gonna take this smaller bowl and I'm just gonna quickly dice up some shallots and put that in there. I realize I should have done this before I wash the board, but no matter, we'll just, we'll just clean this section again. So we're just gonna cut these guys in half moons. This is just such a great, easy trick to elevate a salad. 
just quickly pickling shallots in some sort of citrus or vinegar. Because this is an Asian inspired salad, I'm just gonna let these pickle in some lime juice. You may see on one of my future kitchen hauls an even larger board because I have started making these so often that I need a bigger board. It's a need, not a want, really. Okay, so into our bowl with our lime juice, we're just going to tuck our shallot. They will be a great layer if somebody likes it a little spicier in our board once again. Sometimes this is the thing about cooking is that it doesn't all have to be planned. You can be a little creative, like adding lime pickled shallots at the last minute. Next up, we're gonna do a family favorite every time we go out for sushi, some spicy mayo. So for that, I'm just going to put a bit of mayo in the bowl. Woo! That sriracha had a life of its own. Some sriracha in the same bowl, and I'm just going to whip it up right in that bowl. Now it is time for our beautiful nuts. You can see how they've like nearly completely turned into candy. They're like little toffee moments of delicious. I'll just toss them in one of the larger bowls and they will just be another element of our charcuterie of healthy goodness, let's call it. Really wanna try one, but they're hot. Okay, let's try one. I could eat this whole thing. And this really quick, I mean, you saw it, it took me seconds. Honey, butter, garlic, salt, a little bit of dried ginger. This is the type of move that will have people saying, oh my God, how did you even think of that? And it was so quick and it's just going to absolutely elevate the salad. Plus every charcuterie board has nuts on it. So see, we're in a theme, it's a theme. I can't stop eating them. Into our beautiful little bowl go our nuts. And these bowls are gonna give our board a little bit of structure. So we're just gonna place these in a way that seems artful. And then we're gonna fill it in with all of these beautiful vegetables that we've made. I think I've decided I'm gonna nestle these guys right in the center of my board. And I'm just going to start arranging. You kind of want a little bit on each side so that if people are in different spots around the table, they can easily grab. And we're also going to try to not put like colors together. So I've got orange, I'm going to put a little bit of green, and then maybe I'll do, whoop, I got into the salad dressing. The yellow here. We'll tuck our reds in here. So you can see how it starts to make almost like a rainbow arrangement. And that is what you want. I'm just squishing them in. Okay, we've got a little room for our peas right here. We have peas falling on the floor. We have peas falling into salad dressing so we can eat them. I don't know how that happens. Mmm, no, sorry. That salad dressing has been sitting in the fridge now for a couple of hours and it has improved with the resting. Okay. This is looking gorgeous. How pretty is this? And how much fun is it gonna be to serve it? And now I'm just gonna nestle the avocados like in amongst the greens. Maybe they're kind of living in between the bowls here. I think that looks really pretty. Slide a few more into here. And we're just gonna like, you know, convince things. Just convince them to do what you want them to do. Okay, I mean, honestly, so simple, so easy, but it is going to wow a crowd. As we know, tables are quite long and I don't want everybody like trying to reach for the same thing. I plan to put this sort of in the middle of the table, my beautiful board, and on either, either side, I'm gonna put the salad base items. So the idea is that my guests will grab the salad base items, put those on their plate, and then top it however they like. I think it can be quite nice to leave lettuce in its full uncut state. Again, it's just one of those things that makes for a bit of a prettier presentation. This one would just cooperate with me. My noodles have been sitting in the ice bath, so I'm just gonna drain those and we'll add it here. I just love a noodle salad situation. The last element we're going to need for our spread, I'm just gonna do a quick tidy. The insanely beautiful ginger fried tofu that is one of this three parts video series on creating this beautiful Asian salad board. My name is Heather. Of course, I am here in my own kitchen. I don't know what I'm making next, but I really hope you're hanging out with me in my kitchen when I do it.